In this video, we are going to verify the default extrinsic config file for the Vauxhall M500 reference drone and the Vauxhall Flight Deck. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the coordinate reference frames used for the IMU and the camera. Uh, this is the most critical extrinsic config file uh, entry, which is the relationship, uh, both the translation and the rotation between the IMU and the tracking camera, which is critical for the stability and accuracy of the I.O. So, first, let's look at this little model. Here we have red, green, and blue representing X, Y, and Z uh, coordinate axes and this I'm going to arrange alongside the drone here lined up with red which is X pointing forward Y which is green pointing to the right and blue which is Z pointing down this is the standard forward right down coordinate frame as used in PX4 and the majority of the aerospace industry you may also have heard of the NED coordinate frame, or northeast down, which is the global version of this. Um, forward right down is what we call the body reference frame. And the Voxel IMU server publishes IMU data aligned with this body reference frame, assuming that the, uh, the Voxel board is mounted in this standard configuration uh, as it is on the flight deck and the M500. Next, let's look at the camera reference frame. So in most of computer vision, you will have the camera's reference frame uh, set up such that blue, which is Z, points out the lens. So in this case, we have a tracking camera, which points down and out at 45 degrees so that the drone can track features both forward of it and beneath it. Here we'll line up blue, which is our z-axis, at that 45 degree angle coming out of the camera, pointing down. And then we have red, which is x, pointing to the right, and green, which is y, pointing uh, downward in the field of view of the camera. For another reference, I will then also hold this in front of your viewpoint. Uh, this is now aligned with the reference frame of the camera that you are looking through with Z pointing out along your view, red to the right, uh, which is X, and then Y pointing straight down. So now let's look at the config file and we'll see uh, the entry for the roll, pitch, and yaw um, from the parent to the child reference frame is going to be uh, zero degrees, followed by 45 degrees, followed by 90 degrees as an intrinsic rotation about X, Y, and Z. So let's see how that works to get from the IMU's coordinate frame to the tracking camera's coordinate frame. So first I'm going to line up the drone and our axes here. So now our axes are aligned with the IMU. 04590 corresponds to a zero degree rotation about the red x-axis, followed by a 45 degree rotation about the green y-axis, and finally a 90 degree rotation about the blue z-axis. Now these are intrinsic, which means they will follow uh, wherever the coordinate frame is set up uh, as this moves around and it also follows the right hand rule and so each of these three axes uh, sorry, each of these three rotations are going to be positive which means about um, a clockwise rotation about your thumb which points out along the axis so here let's perform this rotation and so we're starting aligned up with the drone we're going to start with no rotation about the x-axis and then a 45 degree rotation about the y-axis, and finally a 90 degree rotation about the newly rotated z-axis. Now you'll see here, this new coordinate frame lines up with the 45 degree downward facing tracking camera, with z pointing out the center of the lens, 
x to the right, and then y down in the frame of the camera. Voxel IMU server publishes IMU data for both IMUs in the same coordinate frame, and so we'll see that the rotation uh, between IMU0 to tracking and IMU1 to tracking are both the same. Finally, let's look at the translation of the child with respect to the parent frame. So here the parent frame is uh, IMU0 or IMU1, and the child frame is the tracking camera. On the M500 and the flight deck, the location of the two IMUs are uh, described with diagrams on the docs.modal.ai uh, configure extrinsics page, where you're probably watching this video. Uh, however, on the model I have in front of me, we can see that uh, IMU0 is marked with my little orange dot here. It's actually on the bottom of the board. Um, but if we're looking at the top of the board, it's roughly in this location. IMU1 is located in uh, the top left corner of the board here. So let's measure uh, the translation between both of these parent coordinate frames to the child coordinate frame of the tracking camera and confirm that both are correct. So this is a two board Vauxhall plus flight core. And so the preferred IMU for this orientation is uh, IMU1 at the front, so let's start there. So IMU1, we're looking for uh, an X offset of 17 millimeters, which is here, and it's a positive number because the tracking camera is 17 millimeters in front of the IMU. The IMU is the parent coordinate frame, lined up as such, and so a positive location of the tracking camera with respect to the IMU indicates that the tracking camera is in front of the IMU, positively along that x-axis. Similarly, the camera is to the right of the IMU, and so we have a positive 15 millimeter offset, and the camera is below the IMU, and so we have a positive 13 millimeter offset from the IMU down to the camera. Let's do the same for IMU0, which is the preferred IMU for the Voxel flight all-in-one board that combines the Voxel and the flight core into one PCB. So next we'll be looking at the relation from this IMU0 to the tracking camera. So first we will see that it's now a much larger offset in the x-axis, 65 uh, millimeters. That is because the camera is much further in front now, and we'll see that reads 65 millimeters from the IMU to the camera, also positively along the x-axis. Next we will see that since the camera is now to the left of the IMU, we now have a negative 14 millimeter offset from the IMU to the camera. And then in the z-direction we have the same 13 millimeter distance from the PCB downward toward the camera. Now you should be able to do this for your own custom layout which orients and positions the tracking camera in a slightly different uh, location to the default flight deck arrangement.